I invested the underground city of mole people. Let's see how mole people look. Oh, that's not a mole. These are the mole people that live in tunnels beneath the Las Vegas Strip. What happens when it floods? As many of you, you die? Right, right now, it could open up. We'll all be dead. I do see a shadow. We're going to see how far we go back. And that's me running for my life after learning a charity has ordered them to attack me on site and that this tunnel is about to flood with water and kill what? all of us. And Hold up. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Wait, I thought I, thought I was seeing like people who going to be like, like digging, you know, like the moles from a, 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 a Avatar: The Last Airbender. That's that's what that's what I was looking for. Well, I just feel like too much, too many things just happened. Hey, I'm live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link is in the description. I better see you there. Started when I met up with Holy Smoke, a charity in Las Vegas that feeds the homeless in the tunnels. They said nice. they'd go down there with me to bring exposure to this problem and interview the people living there if we donated $900 to their charity. I agreed, and when we met up with them, they told me they hand out blunts that they buy from their plug in the tunnels. And out of nowhere, <laughs> they said that my friend Kevin. A leading expert in homelessness and drug addiction who showed me Portland, Oregon's drug epidemic was an asshole for handing out $5 bills to the homeless. I think I'm just going to let you guys take all the stuff, keep the money, but we don't want to step on any toes here. Oh, you went too hard on him. I think he's a good guy, and I think it's it's bullshit to call him an asshole for no reason. Do you apologize yeah. for calling a colleague of yours an asshole? He's a good guy. And there, yeah. And there is this higher uh, mission, like you say? Yep. You know, to highlight this thing. We could put it beside my antisocial faux pas right there. No, I get it. It's a difference of philosophy, but maybe it's a difference in our philosophy, too. And you guys do your thing and hand out the blunts but no, it's like, yeah it's not about the weed it's yeah but we, we front load the, the conversation with calling the one guy who we've done a video with an asshole and a piece of shit. i wish you guys the best of luck please accept the donation wait so they're just going around giving homeless people blunts <laughs> yo like if that's what is that what the homeless people need they just need to hang around with snoop dog i'm think i think snoop dog don't got a problem with that now kindly if our goal is to highlight the issue as it is then maybe we bring out our friend kevin so i put kevin on the next flight to las vegas went back to my hotel and got these texts from holy smoke hi tyler this is paisley from holy smoke i understand that you intend to go into the tunnels without us or another local organization i just wanted to inform you that that is a very bad idea not only will you not get the truth at best you will be run out i wanted to warn you that we had two encampments that expected you guys and when you weren't with us and we said why Mm, I wonder what you said. And they said, So if they show up, would you get in trouble if we fuck them up? If they're not with you, they're not welcome. $900 donation to Paisley and her organization, and they put a hit on us because I don't want to film with them. We tried to- No, that's insane. No, no, that's insane. The nigga paid $900 to get a hit on himself to help homeless people. What type of what type of loop de loop is this? I give you an in, but it looks like you don't understand how to do charity work. I'm advising you to not go into the tunnels. They will not welcome you or anyone else not associated with the charities they trust. I'm just telling you the reality that our folks don't want to be documented and without prior consent and knowing exactly how they're going to be portrayed. It's called scripting, something we don't do. Kevin! Kevin! We have a dilemma. We have a hit on us. It's not like we're that's gonna stop us. Give me a break. I believe. Is that how Caucasians feel when like people want to hurt them? They know people won't hurt them. Is is that the cock way? Cause you know me me personally as a as a non cock, I'm not going into a place when I'm where where people threatened me. But hey, I, I don't know. Um, that, uh... I believe that this is a group that's extremely controlling and they probably do this to everybody But we're, we're going down there to find out are they actually getting the job done? You don't think we're gonna get killed if we show up to this? I think we're at higher risk I think they're hiding the fact that all they actually do is hand joints to them and walk away And I got my flashlight with me And that, that's all we need You know, the fact is we won't be able to use our cell phones and it's gonna be very, very dark And the tunnels literally run under these casinos Y'all doing this? Anyone doing this? Cause, cause you know, it just takes a special being. These people must really care about homelessness, like a lot. Cause I just know, like, I couldn't. I couldn't, you know. <laughs> I'll There's something going down there that they don't want us to know about. So we got some food and water for the homeless and approached the first tunnel. It looks like we've approached the tunnel entrance. So we're at Panda Express. Thank you, just we case on for the gifted. I gave it to this guy nonchalantly off camera, and it turns out he lived down here. Kevin talked to him, and he invited us down. He said he's cool to give us a tour for 20 bucks, so we're gonna go down through the tunnel. My name is DJ. How deep do the tunnels go? How long would it take to get there? Oh, to, to very that? Yeah. Uh, the, it takes about five minutes, about three minutes to get Okay. And it goes right underneath the strip itself, yeah? 
Yeah, some parts of it, yeah. How long have you lived down here? About three years. Three years? Three years. Okay. Is it comfortable to live down there? Me, yeah. Yeah. And how many people would you say live down there? All together? Yeah. Wow. Well, probably like 2,000. Damn! There's a lot of people out there. Are the government authorities cool with it? Do they try to get you guys out of here? The police come every other day and arrest us. Really? I've been in jail like three to four times. Just for and living down there? Yeah, I guess it's against the law, I guess. Okay. I'm <laughs> Niggas get arrested because they don't have nowhere to live. That's insanity. I wonder if they're bothering anyone under there. That's the only reason I can imagine that. Yeah. As we approached the tunnel, I immediately saw the food I helped Holy Smoke pack in their car yesterday. They had already been here. Is it easy to see down there? No, it's for Do I have clean points and stuff like that? Do I have clean points, like harm reduction stuff? We don't, we're not carrying harm reduction, unfortunately. I brought water and I brought beef sticks if you're interested in some protein, brother. Okay. I probably wouldn't veer too far in there though. Oh, oh I'm what? just gonna stand right there. Alright, okay. I mean, what you want? <laughs> probably follow their advice, yeah? So I think one of the main things to keep in mind is it's not our house. What's up, bro? Yeah. We're good to come in? Orange. Hey, we gonna beat my boy Orange. Signs of holy smoke visiting here yesterday. I cautiously entered the tunnel and met one of their elders, Orange. How you doing, Orange? It's hot out here. Hey, brother, I brought you a gallon of water. Orange, how long you been down here? Here's this. Is it easy to live down here? No. Is there anything you suggest they can do to help you guys get back on your feet? ID. How many times have you gotten and lost an ID? Oh, have you kind of given up at this point? No. Have you ever like gone to the end and back? Mm-hmm. Really? Are your eyes adjusted? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Are there like rats down here? Is there any vermin? Oh yeah. Yeah. What about people? <laughs> that do nigga does not want to talk, bro. So what does that mean? Come down here, start Got it. Or how do you survive down here in this heat? Don't move. How often does it flood down here? What happens when it floods? Do you just have to get as many of you? You die? Have you had to run for your life from a flood? Uh, I've got to uh, wash away, yep. Have you ever Damn. gotten caught in a flood while you were asleep? Uh, yep. Yeah. Is that the city's way of saying get out of here, you think? Yeah, they did kill us all. Don't like us. Yeah, yeah it hurts the tourism. That's exactly what it's going. Claim, but... What brought you to Vegas? I stranded. He's got 18 million. Is it safe Damn. to go to the very end? Without permission, no. No? And there are a few people that are sleeping over there? Um, all along the way. Yeah. All the way. Do you got a flashlight on you? No, I don't. Really. I, I do it by memory. Really? So you don't even see anything? Your eyes aren't adjusted? No, I'm, and I'm blind, so. Not really blind, but I'm pretty blind. How did you end up here in Vegas? Came here on vacation. Really? Lost oh, too much money gambling or what? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, is that a pretty common story? Oh yeah, came here on vacation, been here 20 years. Damn! Okay, don't go to Vegas uh, trying to gamble, because that's kind of crazy. My niggas went to, vacate, uh, went to Vegas for vacation and now they're homeless there. That's cool. Okay, wow. Hear that all the time. Okay. City doesn't do anything to help you guys get back on your feet? Yeah, put us in jail. Yeah, so it says, my wife left me for a very ugly man with a much smaller penis. Yo! Yo! No! What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Penis the mine. You didn't write this yet. That's, no, I mean. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> How many times have you been flooded out of here? Sometimes. Sometimes they just open the floodgates. Just randomly. They could open to 101% and flood everything. A lot of people have died. Yeah. I mean, Damn. instantly. Right, right now, it could open it up right now. We'll all be dead. Actually? Yeah, really. Right there. And there's no warning? What are they going to do? Beep, beep, beep. No. Seriously, that's crazy. I think they're trying to flush you guys out? They could. After learning that the floodgates could open at any moment, flooding these tunnels and killing everyone, I exited the first tunnel and saw that this. That is insane, that woman just bro. Out, just popped out of the tunnel. I'm genuinely curious if we can find an entry point because that woman popped out of thin air. What about right there? Yeah. Look at that. That might be it. What? Oh, my God. Is that actually a... I think it's man. it. You think she was in here? That's That would literally boil her alive, I'm pretty sure. Then did they not say, and I quote, don't go to the end, they're not welcoming? And and what's the first thing they try to do? Go to the end. Like, I, I, I guess, but golly, they have no concern for their life. Sure, yeah, this is crazy. So this woman just popped straight out of this. It's got to be hot as hell. People were living anywhere they could to avoid the heat and getting arrested. And as we were driving to the next tunnel entrance, this happened. Oh, no. Oh! 
If you ever get in a car crash, it's important to call legal help. That's why the sponsor of this video, Morgan & Morgan, can help you if you get injured in a car accident or injury. This is not a joke. Okay. I almost got sideswiped by an idiot. And if you're ever in a car crash, you can check out Morgan Blue for the Morgan & Morgan. 150 yards in are the tunnels. Okay, we're walking through here. There's literally water flowing through. Hi guys, dr dropping off some water. Okay, thank you. You guys interested? Yeah. I'm I'm visiting here from Portland. You may have. I just spoke to a homeless you guy. You've seen this video? Recognizes some of my YouTube videos. He what said, the hell? Hey, you're the guy. You interviewed the mayor guy in Portland, Oregon. Okay. The one that we both knew. Here, this is my friend Ty. Hey, did the floodgate come through? Yeah. Yes. That's oh. Much what it oh. Is it. When? That is so depressing. So they so. I, I wonder, do they do it only because there's homeless people down there or they have to do it? What do y'all think? Do y'all think they have to let the floodgate go or they just do it because there's homeless people? I feel like to some extent they have to do it, but that's fucking crazy. He's hitting crap or Fetty? Got it. After chatting with these three people smoking fentanyl, they gave us permission to check out the tunnel next door. The floodgate had recently opened in this area, and it could open again at any point. We just met three homeless who had given us permission to venture into the farthest I think it would be smarter if you had them like beside you and y'all didn't just come up unannounced. You know, that's like my mom giving someone permission to come to my house, but they didn't ask me. That don't make sense. This is pretty surreal, yeah? Yeah. Kevin, do you think there's an exit point that way? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I do see a shadow, but we're also... Also, if it floods down here, we're yeah, better. Yeah, and we were given permission to come Okay, yeah, let's make it quick. Let's be loud. We are foot deep in water. About a fifth of a mile in, how deep did these tunnels actually go? Anybody home? You know how crazy Hello? that sounds? This feels like a horror game. This is the turf. I, Tyler, I do hear someone kind of back there rustling around. Anybody home? I am so scared. This thing floods were dead, by the way. Yeah. Maybe we... Imagine someone pull up in your house with a flashlight talking about some is anybody home. Y'all are a threat. Ain't no one trying to say nothing to y'all. Yeah. Well, I think we've gone far enough, so let's yeah. That was spooky, I gotta say. After hearing someone in the distance, we left the tunnel and began walking to the other side of the channel and met this guy looking for a needle on the ground. Question for you, is it safe if we were to walk along here? I wouldn't go to the right side. And I wouldn't be on the left side because of the right side. I'd stay the way. Clearly, clearly people dying here. Why is that? It's just because. Okay. I don't know what causes it, but oh. some people just want to kill people. Just like Jesus out. Christ! Yeah. Good to know, man. Yeah, this does feel a little sketchy. There's definitely a lot of mistrust. The right siders are watching us. We're going to head to the next one. <laughs> the right siders? So they split between the left and the right, right? You're like, like political views? Like, what the hell is happening here? After walking across the safe side of the channel, we saw people in the distance near the other tunnel's entrance and cautiously approached. Please knock your shot. Before I knew it, Kevin used his charisma and beef sticks to earn a safe passage into the tunnel. He invited us in to talk really quick. Okay. Just between you and I, this is a little dangerous. Okay. And I soon met one of this tunnel's leaders. I'm here with Roy. Roy, how long you been down here? About six years. And remember, he used he used his, charim his charisma and beef sticks. Like, bro, he's slaying dangling to get in there. Segregation? <laughs> no. What's this little guy's name? This is heathen. Aw. Uh -huh. So, how did you end up here in these tunnels? My mom died. I wound up in foster care. I came out of prison November 17th, 2017. So, I hopped on the bus and. I stopped at the bus stop across from Jack and Box. Yeah, and here we are. And is it safe down here to live? Uh, except for during rainy season. So when the rainy season comes, the floodgates open, you get drowned out of here? And do you want to get out of this tunnel? Honestly, I'm not really a fan of society's way of doing things. Where do you get a watch from? What do you have a watch for? How many other outsiders are down here with you? None. Do you get along pretty well with everyone in here? Absolutely. Yeah. This is my family. Okay. We were walking along the left side here and the guy said they would kill us. Is it actually dangerous for people that aren't from here to come down here? It depends. If you were to come down here on some predator type shit or violent, it might not work out too well. Okay. <laughs> so you had pretty crazy people come down here and try to harass you guys? Can you tell me Stand a few? Up top, throw 
this. Uh, okay. We got one dude actually trying to set the town on fire. And Damn! Is there anything you want the city to do for you guys? Or are you pretty content down here? The f yeah. Is uh, the drug use play a role down here, you think? The drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what drugs? We, what are we talking about? Drugs? What do you mean, drugs? <laughs> I want to introduce you to two people. Hey there. Hey. Tyler, this is Karma. You guys are, are free to do what you do. Oh, it's very nice of you. Okay. Karma, how long you been down here? Um, about four years. Okay. How do you like it down here? Honestly, it's better than up there. How is it to live down here as a woman? Is it a different experience? Um, yes and no. I mean, for all people, day to day. Is it more dangerous to be a woman down here, you think? Absolutely, because, you know, we're not as strong as men. Yeah. So, if some brand new loser comes down here trying to start problems, yeah. broken out, broken out with me. Have you ever been flooded out of here? Yeah. Okay. Seriously, I've ever been through. Five seconds, I would've been dead. So we're talking. You know what got me creeps like like suspicious in these areas though, bro? Like, cause anyone could really get a needle in you at any time. Cause there's just needles anywhere. So all it takes is one person having a bad day and then boom, you stabbed and then boom, you have no clue what you got. You got syphilis and whatever the hell going through your arm. Like that that like that's what I was like, that's the anxiety I'm getting right now. Like I'm like, they could get stabbed at any time. Starting from ground all the way up here. Your water? Yeah, but there's like it's they, they have a yeah. nuclear testing plant. Sure. It's a street. I need to check that out. Right now. Oh, we are radiated right now. Oh, absolutely. Did you get the eye patch down here? Yeah, actually, um, I just hurt my eye. I actually tripped for a little bit, dude, and then face first on one of the back chairs. Do you Jesus get Christ! Out of here? Absolutely. Yeah, I got my eye stone the second day I was here. And that's a pretty common experience? That's an extremely common experience. I know most people that got stuck here because they can get home. Have an ID. What, what do you do if you lose your ID down here? <laughs> After hearing these, brutal... is it really like? Can you? You can't get another. There has to be more than just like losing your ID, right? Like there has to be something else that goes into play. Is it really that hard to get a lost ID? It wasn't hard for me to get my I because I lost my driver's license once, and it wasn't hard for me to get my driver's license. I don't, I don't know, bro. Origin stories. Kevin, meanwhile, had learned this about the tunnels. They said uh, it's pitch darkness for one mile and then opens up to Target. But they encouraged us to continue to walk forward. Target. So there Thank is you, the unknown it's Shogun. Are there people down there? Yeah. Do you think we'll upset them if we walk past? Um, you guys go very, very far. Okay. Well, we're gonna go. Little, long, we're gonna go a little bit in, and we'll come out, and then it's such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Less intimidating with a puppy in your hand, I'll say that. So Roy just warned us it's super slippery. It is slippery. He suggested we go this way, right. and so what he said is there are people down here, and we're gonna need to walk one mile through pitch darkness. No, you don't need to do this. What are you trying to prove? I don't understand. What? Y'all can go back to the top, you know, go across. Like, what? why do y'all have to keep walking? Knowing that there were people that lived even deeper down this tunnel, Kevin and I proceeded with caution and fear. Kevin, look. This way to hell. Where are we running if things go wrong? Well, there's nowhere to run because now we're going to surround it. Yeah. Rest in peace. This is what he was talking about, where someone died at this exact spot. So it appears there is a tunnel entrance totally made inaccessible via this massive spiderweb network. Narcan right there. Narcan right here. If one of them slips and, you know, hand on needle, they're done. Like, why? I, there just got to be better ways. But I guess this gets the views. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there are better ways, but we have to do whatever gets the views. What the fuck is this? The hieroglyphs. Also here. Yeah, pyroglyphic, glyphic, hydrogryphic. Y'all know what I'm saying, bro. It's, so she's getting pounded thinking of money because those are like dollar symbols. Like, what? Sounded like floodgate. Yeah, that's the only flood, Is that a flood gate? Okay, let's go. Let's go.
they had to talk they must have talked to las vegas about this they were like hey can y'all activate this at this time period bro like there's no way bro <laughs> Is that a floodgate? Um, oh, I thought we were gonna die. I thought it was over. Oh my god, I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, we heard something. Jeez. I thought we were gonna hit with the flood. Yeah, see it was. Oh, f that spooked the sh out of me. We walked really deep down there. That is a scary place to live. I'm glad we didn't get killed. 80% of homeless told us the main barrier to their homelessness With is IDs. ID and no passport. Why is this not happening? The final fact you'll love is that this nonprofit buys the weed they hand out. They claim to have a plug in the tunnels. We have the most overdoses and deaths in history what? due to fentanyl. And so you are buying marijuana off the streets. I hope to God that's not true. And So they're buying weed from homeless people and selling it in blunts to other homeless people. What drugs? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what drugs are we talking about? What drugs? What drugs? There, there's no drug. What drugs, huh? Drugs? Meryl, what's that? If that is happening, I mean, buying drugs off the street and registering drugs? if you are a non-profit, 5013C, what is wrong with you? Marijuana is almost always laced with fentanyl. That is completely unethical. Bare minimum, uh, go to a dispensary, for God's sakes. My question to you is how many people have overdosed and died because of this? If you're doing this, you got blood in your hands, brother. Also, Damn. whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok. TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description. Last week's winner was this guy and go follow Kevin on Twitter at Kevin V title slash description. How, how many Last views did he get? 3.3 million views. Nice. What drugs? Chad, what, what drugs are they talking about? I don't know nothing about no drugs. This week's winner was this guy. And go follow Kevin on Twitter at Kevin V Dahlgren. And if you know an interesting person or place who's yeah, I don't know what they're talking about, bro. I think they just bringing up random things. Like, I don't even know what, like, marijuana, fentanyl? What the fuck? What, what is that?